this video will be looking at the questions of H.C. Verma and uh, solving uh, current electricity chapter. So the first question says if a metallic conductor is connected across a battery and the number of collision of free electrons with the lattice is somehow decreased in the resistance. Mm, this can be done by decreasing the temperature. So what will happen to the current? Obviously this is the factor which decides the resistance number of collisions per unit time if it will decrease so resistance will decrease and the current will increase so answer should be a in the next there are two resistance a and b and it is given that rb is greater than ra the resistivity as resistivity is dependent on other parameters also like this rho l and a rho we cannot directly relate resistance to resistivity so l and a will also play a major role hence we cannot be very sure so in this answer should be the information is not sufficient to find the relation between rho and rho b third is the product of resistivity and conductivity of a cylindrical conductor this by definition resistivity is reciprocal of conductivity so no matter what the type of resistance or conductor is or its shape or size or material their product will be one so they are independent of everything so it depends on nothing so answer should be d similarly in the fourth question as the temperature is increased we have to find what will happen to their product again the product will remain constant because the product is one by definition they are reciprocal of each other resistivity is one by conductivity in the fifth question it is asked that if uh, in an electric circuit a battery is connected then what will happen what how the charge will flow inside the battery uh, it depends on the situation whether the battery is getting charged so you can have a look if the battery is discharging or it is providing energy to the circuit the current will come out from the positive terminal so inside the battery it is moving from negative to positive okay but if the battery is being charged by the circuit current will flow into the positive terminal and inside the battery it is moving from positive to negative terminal so we are not sure whether the circuit is charging the battery or the battery is getting discharged so we'll go with the current may go from positive to negative terminal always and must should be avoided in the next question there is a resistance r which is connected to an idle battery if the value of resistance r is decreased the power again the battery is idle so the voltage across it will remain same and power is inversely proportional to resistance for a fixed voltage v square by r is the power so as r decreases power will increase hence the answer should be a in the next question there is a current passes through a resistance let k1 and k2 be the average kinetic energies of conducting electrons and metal ions obviously the conductant conducting energies of uh, uh, these energies of conducting electrons will be very high as compared to these metal ions because they are almost at rest and they will they must be moving at a very high speed comparable to uh, a few kilometers in a second so in this next question there's two resistance r and 2r which are connected in series we have to find the ratio of their thermal power as they are in series their current will be same as they are in series their current will be same and power is proportion is equal to i square r i is same so we can say power is simply proportional to r so the ratio of resistance will be the ratio of power in the next question those two resistances are connected in parallel so when they are in parallel they will have same voltage so for same voltage we can use v square by r again v is same so for that situation we can say p is inversely proportional to r so the ratio of powers will be 2 is to 1 as the ratio of resistance is 1 is to 2 in the next question there is a wire of resistance 50 ohm which is cut into five equal parts and these parts are, are now connected in parallel so what will happen 
when a 50 ohm is cut into five equal parts the resistance of e each part will be 10 ohm and when 10 ohm resistance five 10 ohm resistances are connected in parallel the equivalent resistance will be 10 divided by 5 which is 2 ohm so the answer should be so the answer should be a and uh, in the next question consider the following two statements Kirchhoff law is a consequence of conservation of charge Kirchhoff junctions law and Kirchhoff's loop law is uh, con uh, is by the conservative nature of electric field so both these statements are correct so we can say uh, both the statements are correct and hence we can get to the answer a in the next part there are two non idle batteries which are connected in series so we have to find what will the equivalent uh, the equivalent emf is larger than either of the two emfs and the next statement says that the equivalent internal resistance is smaller than either of the two internal resistances as batteries are connected in series we can say that E equivalent will be E1 plus E2 and R equivalent will be this so both are greater than E equivalent is greater than E1 and E2 as well similarly the equivalent resistance will be larger than R1 and R2 both so we will go with the option that uh, statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect hence in the next question there are two non ideal batteries which are connected in parallel and we have to uh, justify or uh, we have to verify these statements that one is equivalent emf is smaller than the either of two ems and equivalent resistance is smaller than uh, both the internal resistances uh, we can look at the expressions of e equivalent when connected in parallel e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 divided by r1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 in fact this is a value which will come out in between e1 and e2 okay so it will not be less than both e1 and e2 as it is coming in between e1 and e2 somewhere and similarly for equivalent resistance it is well known fact that uh, in parallel equivalent resistance is smaller than both r1 and r2 the net resistance of an ammeter should be small because it should not change the equivalent resistance of the circuit and it should not appreciably change the current in the that has to be measured by it so the resistance of an ammeter is kept very small because it will be connected in series and by connecting a zero ohm resistance in series you are not changing the resistance of the circuit thus the circuit remains same and same current flows as it was flowing earlier without uh, joining the ammeter also so in the next part also similar a voltmeter should be should have a large resistance why because when a large resistance is connected in parallel the circuit remain almost same no current flows through that uh, high ohm resistance which is connected in parallel so in voltmeter is in this case so there will not be any appreciable change in the current or potential differences uh, in the circuit in the next question there is a capacitor which is charging and q1 and q2 are the charges supplied to the capacitor in consecutive 10 milliseconds in the first 10 milliseconds q1 is supplied and in the next 10, uh, 10 milliseconds q2 will be supplied as the capacitor get more charge the rate of charging gets slow so in the first millisecond the charge uh, flown will be more q1 will be more than q2 similarly we can say uh, to supply 10 micro coulomb if the time taken is t1 and then supply the next 10 micro coulomb the time is t2 obviously t2 will be more as the rate of charge has slowed so t2 will be more than t1 thank you